New video tonight shows streets blocked off overnight near McCormick Place by drivers performing street stunts. You can see a cloud of smoke as onlookers cheered on this chaotic scene. The drivers at times coming within inches of the crowd. It happened at 25th and King Drive. And that's where Stephanie Wade is live tonight with more on the response. Stephanie. Karen, neighbors I spoke with are hoping a new city ordinance will begin to deter people from doing what they did here last night. You can still see the fresh tire marks on the street here behind me. And unfortunately, neighbors say this is not the first time it's happened here. Sounds of tires screeching is what those who live near 25th and King Drive have been waking up to for several weekends now. I'm making a lot of noise, doing donuts, and uh, just can't sleep because it's so loud. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's, I, I can't even put it into words. Three, four hundred young people just, they convulge on the community. Video from overnight shows massive crowds clogging the streets as they watch drivers spinning donuts around this roundabout. The speed that they are racing around the statue here and th that they're hanging out of cars. And for me, what wakes me up, it's not the noise, it's the smell of the rubber burning. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time people have descended upon this near south side community. Community. Neighbors shared this video from last year of people setting a ring of fire around the same roundabout. They must be uh, organizing on social media because they seem to know exactly where to come, when to, when to come, and they also know when to leave. Chicago police arrested two men in last night's incident and one car was impounded. 18 year old Jose Castillo is charged with misdemeanor reckless conduct and 18 year old Juan Venegas was cited for possessing a pellet gun, disorderly conduct and multiple traffic violations. Hopefully it you know stops these uh, hooligans from causing trouble because it's not it's just <laughs> we just want to like sleep in peace. <laughs> City Council members passed an ordinance last month that allows the city to impound vehicles that drift and drag race, even if cops aren't there at the time. People hope this will urge those wreaking havoc on their neighborhood to stop. So happy to hear that that has been addressed, very much so, but I think we need to get in front of it. Now, neighbors also suggest police add extra patrols here in this area over the weekend, knowing how frequently it happens here. We're live in the city's near south side. Stephanie Wade, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Stephanie, thank you.